Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and I'm here with my co-host, Sochal. And today we have a Topic Talk episode. And the topic of today's Topic Talk is ambition. And so, Sochal, what are your ambitions? Like, what are your goals, your dreams for the future? Jack, I think 27 is such an interesting age because... It's like the dreams that I've always had are still there, but I also have like practical goals I want to meet so that my future is like more secure, if that makes sense. Yes. Um, I'm starting to see the big picture and not just the right there moment. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So I think for me, I still have a lot of the same goals I used to have, like, um, putting my music out there. That's a big dream of mine. Um, following my creative endeavors, growing my social media, which we talked about, which by the way, one of my videos went viral after you talked about the thumbnails and stuff. And I included some of the advice you gave me. And mm -hmm. uh, actually my video hit 6.2 thousand views. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. And I gained like 40 something new followers just off that one. So I was very excited. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping to keep implementing that moving forward so I can uh, see social media as a form of income in the future, hopefully. Um, obviously, I want to keep growing this podcast, which I really like working on. And I really enjoyed. Um, but I think for my things for the future that I'm thinking about are one, get my health in check. I want to start doing physical therapy for the different things I've been diagnosed with to kind of improve my quality of life and my chronic pain. And the other one is I'm looking at a long-term job that I can do that will ensure a good retirement for me, that will ensure um, some independence for me, and that will ensure a better quality of life for my future. So I was talking to you earlier about moving back to Korea, maybe getting mm -hmm. a master's degree um, in a relevant field. Um, and yeah, and looking at maybe working in a university job in Korea. Yes, yes. That would be awesome if you were to come back and, uh, yeah, go back to school, get a master's degree. Actually, you're kind of describing the same point I came to when I was about your age, when I was 27, 28, um, that's where I, I realized I'm like, okay, the dreams are, you know, the, the dreams you had when you're, you know, uh, 22 or 23, like I'm going to go to the, my mind was, I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm going to write a movie. I'm going to be a director. I'm going to do all these, like, you know, <laughs> it's a very fantastical kind of, uh, uh, grandiose, I, grandiose ideas, right? That's a good word. I like that. Um, of course it never panned out that way. You know, I was a production assistant and, but I still, I mean, it was, I had experience, I got to do experience a lot of things. Um, but I realized that, you know, there's a certain point where you get to an age where you, you realize the, like the practical nature of life where you just have to take care of, you know, food and clothing, um, I, 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 you know, just the, the, the basic necessities of life have to be met and your dreams might not be able to support that. You know what I mean? Like your dreams are right. sometimes have to become hobbies and mm -hmm. your job has to become, you know, your job is not something that maybe you didn't dream. I didn't dream of becoming a teacher. It was never like, um, but but it, but I, I grew into loving teaching. And right. so it kind of became a dream. Uh, we could say retroactively, you know, after I became a teacher, I realized that my dream was to become a teacher. Like that was my my destiny on this planet was to be a teacher. Um, it's mm -hmm. what I'm good at. It's what I know how to do. Um I think it's it's a really perfect fit for my personality, for my uh, particular skill set. Um, and so, you know, it's one of those things. It's like where, uh, you know, it, my ambitions changed, you know. And so once I started teaching, like you said, we started doing this podcast. Uh, my ambitions kind of extended not not within my teaching job, 
necessarily because I think I've I've kind of gone as far as I can with teaching in the university. Like there's no there's nowhere for me to go. I, I've kind of hit the ceiling of like what's what what's possible. Um but there's but I've found this whole other world of of possibilities outside of that with like teaching online. Um teach uh making a podcast making youtube videos um so so there's there's lots of i have lots of ambitions like um of things that i want to accomplish but they're they're not really professional dreams for me they're more um uh, they're, they're they're more I, they're more like um emotional you know i i have more of an emotional attachment to the podcast than i do like a financial uh, attachment to it i would right, love to make too. money with, from it like that would be great if we could monetize this to the point where it could support us as a as a job or be you know a, a, a side a, income yeah another like a some side income like a like a supplementary income that would be fantastic um but it's not why I do it necessarily. Um, but when I was like 27, 28, you know, I, you had to, I had to make that decision. Like, what am I going to do to make money and support myself? And so teaching was the, was the way to do that. And I had to set aside the kind of dreams of like being a, a filmmaker or whatever. And, you know, I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's sometimes I feel a little bit sad like, Oh, what if I had stuck in, you know, hung in there, and just kept going and, and working in that industry, would it, would I have made it? And I think that'll drive you crazy. The woulda, coulda, shoulda kind of, you know, um, thinking like you don't, mm -hmm. you don't want to do that necessarily, but it's just funny for me where I am in my life, I'm, I'm kind of looking backwards and I think you're looking forward. Um, and because you're at that point, where you have to start making those decisions. And I kind of already made those de decisions about 20 years ago. And so right. I'm 20 years down the road. I'm kind of looking more towards like retirement. And, you know, my wife and I are kind of setting ourselves up for, you know, kind of working less and having more leisure time. And um, and so, yeah, it's just two two totally different stages in our lives. Um, but I, I totally remember what it was like to be 27, 28. It's exciting, but it's a little bit scary. Would you agree it with is. that? Yeah. I would agree with that. And I would also say that I think for me, seeing how things seeing how things are at my age, I think I think your way of thinking as being Gen X is like you kind of limit yourself within certain parameters because life expectancy was kind of shorter in like boomers eyes like they thought of life expectancy as being mm -hmm. something shorter and um they also you thought like retirement is like at 60 or something you know what i mean yeah yeah um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, but i think personally seeing how long we live nowadays and seeing people become famous on social media or have late starts to their careers um I don't see it the same way you do as in like, oh, I could have gone down this path and then I didn't. And maybe I will at your age. But right now I kind of see it like you can only still go down that path. And Hollywood or cable television or whatever, those things aren't really as big a deal nowadays because you can create things on your own and post them on your own. And then that's like just as valuable if that makes sense. Yeah, so actually, me, you're like right. You are right. Th that's a really good point. Is the th the funny thing is it kind of came full circle for me, where <laughs> I I became a YouTuber later, but I'm but when I'm doing YouTube, it's I'm very much doing a lot of the skills that I learned when I was in the late '90s about like, you know, how to light some, you know, how to make a video, like right, lighting, editing, yeah. and you do a lot of editing for this podcast. I mean, you do all the editing for those listeners who don't know. Jack does all the editing for the podcast, actually. So you do, and not just this podcast, you work on the Soul Patch as well. Um, so you do use your creative talents in a lot of ways. And I don't think it's too late for you to take that direction, especially even when you retire, you can spend all this time um, 
putting out original content, like original movies or original docu-series, whatever you want to do. Like, I think you're still so young and you can still do all those things. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm actually you I'm kind of pining for a future that doesn't even exist anymore. You know? Yeah, it was Hollywood like, is not like a big deal anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like go, going to Hollywood and making a movie is not even a big deal. Yeah, I mean, you could make a movie now with your phone if you wanted to. I mean, Yeah. Which I think sometimes they're way better than Hollywood movies, like original yeah. content that we see pe people post all the time and win prizes and awards for all the time independently um, are often independently funded and they don't have the same like formulaic um, thing behind them as right. Hollywood They're does, more experimental. Like they're more interesting, more creative. Yeah. 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 So, Jack, you still have plenty of time. All right. Plenty of time. <laughs> all right. You convinced me. Yeah. All right, listeners. So what are your ambitions? What are your goals and your dreams for the future? Make sure to let us know in a comment down below at a to z English podcast.com. Shoot us an email at a to z English podcast at gmail.com or join our WeChat and WhatsApp groups to join the conversation. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.